I'd like all of you to imagine a young boy named Brax. Brax was two and a half years old, and he had an ear infection that just wouldn't go away. Treatment after treatment failed for Brax, and when doctors analyzed the bacteria present in his ear, they discovered that it was methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, a form of an antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Story, although Brax survived from his infection, he was left with lasting hearing problems and speech impediments. Stories like Brax's are really sad, but what's terrifying is that they're becoming more and more common every single day. The Center for Disease Control states that we are now living in a post-antibiotic era. Every year, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus kills more Americans than emphysema, Parkinson's disease, HIV, and homicide combined. In the face of this terrifying new reality, a therapeutic alternative is emerging, bacteriophage therapy. Bacteriophages, or phages, are viruses that infect bacteria. They recognize specific molecules on the surface of the bacteria using these small structures shown here called tail fibers. They then inject the code necessary to build new virus into the cells, hijack the host cell machinery to produce more virus, and kill the cells in the process. We can exploit the phage's natural antibacterial mechanism to kill pathogenic bacteria, and that's the basis for phage therapy. My idea aims at using a single phage as a platform for the infection of multiple bacteria. This phage is called T4. And in order to target this, this phage to different forms of bacteria, we seek to engineer the tail fibers of this phage. The result would be a targeted therapeutic that specifically kills pathogens while leaving healthy bacteria intact. One of the major side effects with antibiotics is that they tend to kill, uh, they tend to kill beneficial bacteria, which can have a really negative impact on human health. Now, you might be wondering, if bacteria can develop resistance to antibiotics, couldn't they just develop resistance to the phage as well? That's very possible. But with my platform, overcoming that resistance would become a lot more simple. If the bacteria did alter the surface molecules so that the phage couldn't use that to infect the cells, we could just re-engineer the tail fiber to target a different receptor. As a proof of concept, I engineered T4 to specifically recognize E. coli 0157H7, a common food pathogen. And our preliminary results suggest that this modified phage is better at binding to the pathogen than the unmodified phage. This, to me, represents the first step towards making sure that stories like Brax's remain a thing of the past. Thank you.